Becker-Veins syndrome. Becker-Veins syndrome is stenosing tenosynovitis of the first dorsal compartment of the wrist. This will cause pain and swelling over the radial side or thumb side of the wrist. It occurs due to inflammation, thickening, and stenosis of the synovial sheath. This condition is more common in women and the patient will complain of pain with movement of the wrist as well as swelling with tenderness over the styloid process. Activities that may cause Decrevain syndrome include twisting or wringing out wet towels, hammering, skiing, racket sports, playing the piano, lifting heavy objects, and it may be postpartum or post-traumatic. Pain from Decrevain syndrome is usually located at the base of the thumb and to the side of the wrist. Differential diagnosis of Decrevain syndrome includes carpal metacarpal joint arthritis, intersection syndrome, and Wartenberg syndrome. Wartenberg syndrome is compression of the superficial branch of the radial nerve. The pain is located 8 centimeters proximal to the radial styloid. With Wartenberg syndrome, there will be pain and paresthesia on the dorsum of the hand. There will also be a positive tinnels sign. It is hard to differentiate between Decrevain syndrome and basal thumb joint arthritis. The Finkelstein test is used to diagnose Decrevain syndrome. This test is conducted by having the patient make a fist with the fingers closed over the thumb and the wrist is bent towards the little finger. The hand is pulled so that the involved tendons are stretched, causing sharp local pain if injury and inflammation is present. The grind test is used to diagnose basal thumb arthritis. By axial loading, pushing, and rotating the thumb metacarpal bone, grinding may be felt within the joint. Pain will be located on the volar aspect of the wrist. Treatment of Decrevain syndrome. Conservative treatment with anti-inflammatory medication, thumb spica brace, steroid injection. When using steroid injections, inject steroids into the tendon sheath of the first dorsal compartment with the wrist over a rolled up towel. Surgery, done after failure of non-operative treatment. Surgical release of the first dorsal compartment. Protect the radial sensory nerve and identify all other compartments. The tendon may have separate compartments and each compartment should be identified and released. Also, the abductor pollicis longus tendon may have multiple slips. Pain may occur after surgery due to neuroma, inaccurate decompression, or instability and scarring of the tendons. Decrevain's release surgery. Release involving the first dorsal compartment at the wrist. Complete decompression of the first dorsal compartment including any additional slips and compartments. The abductor pollicis and extensor pollicis brevis tendons are freed from the surrounding retinaculum and tendon sheaths. It is important to protect the radial sensory nerve. My wrist has been really bothering me today. Really? Well, let's see what the problem is. Instead of using Finkelstein's test, let's try the Frankenstein test. <laughs> Hello, doctor. Can I come and see you? Um, like right now? Come right away. All my videos and this video is for educational purposes only. Please consult your doctor before you make any decision about your medical care.